Ironized Yeast presents Lights Out, Everybody. It is later than you think. If you frighten easily, we sincerely suggest that you turn off your radio now. My name, Arch Oberlin. Tonight, the fourth in our series of tales of the weird and the unusual. If you like moon and June and love and dove, and if you're afraid of the dark and the things of the dark, you're forewarned, for tonight's story is about the greatest terror in the world, the conscience of a man. Wangara. Wangara, shut that door. You get out. You smell up the place. Big fella rain, boss. Big fella rain. So what? Get out of here. Get out, I tell you. Don't squat there looking up at me. Get out. All right, I'll throw you out. Mm. Up with you. Mm. You filthy devil. Now. Filthy beggar. Uh. I'll write my last letters. Dear Sheldon, well, here's my last letter to you. Another three weeks and my exile's over. I'm coming home. After three years in this devil-forsaken bush country, home. Home. I've almost forgotten how to write that word. Well, Sheldon, my friend... Tell them to fatten up the fatted calf. I'm coming home rich. As Alec Riverton won't have to take their inferno snobbery. He struck it rich out here, and he's coming back to buy the town and everybody in it. Liar, liar, liar. You haven't struck it rich, you're still a tramp. You're nothing, nothing. Three years in hell, and you're nothing. Yes, they always laughed at you, and they'll keep on laughing. <laughs> Alec Rivers. Have you heard? He's back in town. Yeah, sure, he's broke. He's always broke. 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 Who? Mangara. Didn't I tell you to stay out? Bushman. Bushman. Get out of here. Bless you. Get out. Bushman, look me fine. Oh, me fine, me Mungara, me fine. Give it to me. No, me fine, me. Diamond as big as your hand. Me take stone Queenland, buy two, three wife, me Mungara. Listen, Mungara, I have no money. Me take Queenland, busman Queenland, got lot money. Oh, yes, lot more than But I'll give you my rifle. See? Big gun. You, Mangara. Give me that diamond. No. No, give one gun. Mangara, go Queen Land. Get lot money, lot gun. Mangara, wait. Listen to me. Money. I'll give you money. More money than Queensland, man. My hand. Give me money, my hand. Tomorrow. Sun come up. I'll give you money. Do you hear me? Plenty, plenty money. Now, give me the diamond. No. Boss man no got money. Me go Queenland. Oh, no, wait, you can't go. Boss man no hold me. Munkara, go. Stand still. Listen to me, you filthy son. No, no. Listen to me. I've got to have that diamond. It's my chance. You can't take it from me. Oh, Queen Lan. I'll give you anything you want. Just give me a chance to buy it from no, me. No, I'll not let you get away from me. No. That diamond, give it to me. You're not going to sell it to anybody else. Give it to me. No. Me, me find it. You no take from me. No. You devil. I can't take it. I haven't got the strength. No, me fall. All right. Your knife. Knife. I'll kill you. Kill you! Boss. Man. 
परिवर्तन Yes, Charles, over here. Oh, by George, Alec, really you. Good to see you, Sheldon. You got my letter? Oh, obviously, I'm here. So you've struck it rich, huh? Good old Alec. What'd you find? The whole bunch of us have been crazy with curiosity ever since I got your letter. Gold, platinum, tungsten, pike. I'm very tired, Charles. Oh, I knew you'd do it, Alec. All you needed was a little perseverance. Once you stayed down there, I knew you wouldn't come back till you did something important. All right, old fellow, tell me now. What did you get? Don't mind, Charles. I'm very tired. I... I had a bad trip. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't stop to think. There'll be plenty of time to talk later, won't there? Yes. Yes, I suppose there will be. Cab, sir? Cab, sir? Lowest rate to the best hotel. Yes, yes, I'll take a cab. Right in, sir. Oh, but Alec, your bag. I'm having them sent on. Get in. Right. <coughs> Where to, Chief? Arlington Hotel. Right. Well, Arlington, eh? I can afford it. Oh, I should hope so. One day's rent in that place would pay for a week in your old flat, eh, Alec? <laughs> what of it? I tell you, I can afford to do as I please. You, uh, you must have had a hard trip. What do you mean? Just what I said. No, you didn't say what you wanted to say. Now say it. Say it. Alec, what's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Nothing, I tell you, what can be the matter? I tell you, I've struck it rich. You hear me, wretch? I haven't failed. I... I... I oh, Charles, help me. Alec, what is it? I've got to talk. I've got to. Charles, I've got to tell someone... you the truth. Charles, listen to me. I... I had some trouble down there. Trouble? Yes. With a man. And yet not a man. Australian bushman, savage. He found a diamond, a, a tremendous diamond. I had nothing. Three years of hell and work, and I had nothing. And that ignorant savage with a fortune, he wouldn't know what to do with. So I... I... So what? You what? I... I cheated him out of him. Didn't you hear me? What am I supposed to say? Yes. Yes, there's little you can say, isn't there? <laughs> I feel better already. It takes the grind out of a thing to talk about it, doesn't it? And you won't tell anybody, will you, Sheldon? Sheldon, don't just... Look at me like that. He did that too. He? Mongala, the man I... Filthy savage. Why should his eyes... Listen. You know what he said? He said that three days after I got off the boat... Three days after you got off the boat, what? What? What did you say? Well, I didn't say it. You did. You said the three days after you got off. No, no, that doesn't matter. All that matters is that I've got a pocket full of cash. <laughs> yeah, that, that's important, isn't it? I, uh... I think I'm sorry for you. Sorry for me? You crazy? I got all the money I can use for the rest of my life. Hey, you cab driver! Pull back that glass. I want to talk to you. Your chief, what's on your mind? What do you take me for, a country cousin? This isn't the shortest way to town. Well, you see, big shot, it's this way. I just thought that you'd die in three days when you get off, big fellow boat. Three days for river time. You die. Ah! Oh, Alex, what is it? Stop the cab! Stop the cab! Stop it! Alex, what is it? What's wrong? You! Cab driver, what did you say? What did you say? Sir, help me out. I ain't said nothing. No, no, you spoke. Alex, what's the matter what's wrong with you? He didn't say anything to get excited about. Well, no, honest, all I said was that I'd take it away. You wanted to go. Ungara's voice. I heard it. 
Oh, God. But you said he's dead. Yes, yes, I know he's dead. Dead and rotting half across the world. He couldn't have spoken. And yet, I think I heard him. The dead can't speak. Do you mind if we go outside for a little while, Miss Bennett? Man. All right. I can't take those jokes either. Well, this is more like it. The air is good. Yeah. Um, I haven't had a word alone with you all night, have I? Truthfully, I didn't expect you to talk. Why not? Oh, Charlie Sheldon told me you weren't much of a talker. Well, he's right. Where I've come from, I haven't had many opportunities to talk. <laughs> well, come now, not sing, sing, Mr. Riverton. Almost as bad as that. Down under. Where? The bush country, interior Australia. Oh. You know... You're the first woman I've gone out with since I got back. I'm not quite sure whether that's so flattering. It is. Until Sheldon introduced me to you, I... I just didn't want to be with anyone. Thank you. Very pretty, aren't you? In the dark? No, really. Oh, I'm all there. Man. Three years in the bush country. Maybe I'd better go in. No, stay. Please. Just talk to me. Talk? Yes. All right. How long have you been back? One day. Is that all? I'd better go in. Oh, no. No, I won't. What were you doing in Australia? Business of some sort? You. Please tell me about you. You're an actress. Two schools of thought. Right now, I'm what's unhappily known as resting between engagements. Mm -hmm. Let's get away from here. What do you mean? Go. Someplace away from here. Should I? I want you to. That does it. I, I can never say no to a good-looking man who knows his own mind. All right, Mr. Riverton. Wherever you say, but don't forget that three-day boss man, you die. No. Well, what's the matter? What is it? You. What did you just say? Well, well all I said was that if you wanted to... Two, three-day boss man, you die. You devil. What? You think you can fool me, but it's you, Mangara. I heard you. What's the joke? I don't get it. Out of your throat. I heard it. Well, now, look here. I'll I... stop you. <laughs> I'll stop you, Mangara. I will. I will. Help. Help. Hey, is somebody... Hey, hey, hey stop that. Let go of us. Let go of us. Help. Somebody help me. Help me. He's joking. He's joking. Two days have gone by since Alec Riverton got off the boat, and this is the third day, the fatal day of the Australian bushman's prophecy. Now look here, Alec. For 24 hours you have moved out of this room. Now why don't Stop you... it. It's none of your business. Oh, isn't it? not for me, you'd be in jail right now. Why do you think Nan Bennett didn't have you thrown in jail? She needed money. Yeah. It took me three hours straight talking to talk her into it. 
once and for all. Why did you choke her? It's none of your business. Nothing's my business. No. I'm just the guy who happened to be chump enough to be a friend, eh? Alex, listen to me. Go to the police. No, no, don't say that. Sheldon, if you talk. I can't talk and I won't talk, Alex. My infernal friendship. Alex, at least let me call in a doctor. Doctor? What do I want with a doctor? For your nerves, maybe. Mind your own business, I tell you. I'm all right. There's nothing. Who's that? Oh, waiter, I suppose, about dinner. Are you sure? Well. Ask who it is. Of course. Who is it? Room service? Oh. Well, come in. Come in. Your dinner, sir. Yes, yes, I know what it is. Well, set the table. Serve it. Very good, sir. You are in a state, all right, Ernie. I, I just don't get it. The second day. What? Never mind. You're going to eat with me, or aren't you? Everything is ready, sir. Well, it's about time. Here, you sit here, Sheldon. All right. Waiter. Yes, sir? Lights. Let's have some more light here. I want to see what I'm eating. Alex, there's plenty of light. Don't you interfere. I pay for service, and I'll get it. Waiter, didn't you hear me? But don't stand there gaping at me. Do as I said. Yes, sir, but I was... Just thinking that you die in three days. Three days, boy. Son, you die. Kill you. Waiter, I'll kill you. No, no, sir. Let go of me. I didn't do anything. Alan, let go of him. Are you completely out of your mind? Kill him. I will. I will. But, but I didn't do anything. You turned the table over. Indeed, sir. I swear it. That's true, Halle. You overturned the table the way I didn't. Oh, God. His voice. Waiter, you spoke with his voice. I heard you. I saw your lips move. Alec, what are you saying? The waiter, what did he say? Quickly, what did he say before I threw over the table? Answer me. What did he say? Why? I don't remember. What did you say, Waiter. I, I I merely said that, that I thought the meat was a bit cold. Per, perhaps I'd better eat places. Oh, no, no, you lie. You lie. I heard you. You spoke with his voice. Get out. That devil won't get me. He's dead. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. My head. I can Alex. Alex. <laughs> But, Doctor, isn't there something you can do? Violent again? All night. He, he'd doze off, and then he'd wake up screaming about devils. And... Doctor, you've got to do something for him. If I only knew what was troubling him, do you know? Yeah, he's got some crazy fixation about some Australian savage. He told me he cheated him. He keeps repeating, the third day, the third day, over and over again in his nightmare. The third day? Yes. Uh, and today, when dawn came, he, he began to cry. He said that today was the third day. Doctor, please, come in and look at him for yourself. As you wish. Who, who, who is it? What do you want? It's the doctor, Alec. Yes, good morning, Mr. Riverton. What's this nonsense about nightmare? <laughs> I'm glad you came, Doctor. He won't dare come when you're here, will he, Doctor? He? Well, who do you mean? Oh, no, never mind what I mean. Just stay by me. Don't leave me not today. Sheldon, you won't leave me. Of course not, Alec. Please try to calm down, will you, fellow? You think I've gone crazy, don't you? Well, I tell you, I haven't. I did hear him talk. Twice. Yes, once the first day and once the second day. But today I must not hear him. You hear me? I must not. If I do, I die too, and I can't die. I won't die. I never had anything. Now oh, I can live. I can have all of this. I'd better give him your heart to do it. Yes, please. Anything to quiet him. He's so afraid. I can't help him. Mr. Riverton, please. What? Your arm. What are you going to do? Why? Now they want to give you a sedative subcutaneously. Pull that quickly that way. Put you to sleep, Ali. Sleep. 
It'll put me to sleep. Yes. Yes, of course. Hey, give it to me quickly. He can't hurt me when I sleep, can he? Who can't hurt you? Stop asking questions, I tell you. Give me the injection quickly. It's the third day. If I fool him today, he can't hurt me ever. I know he can. Hey, give me the injection. Here's my arm. Hurry, Doc. Yes, hurry, hurry. I've got to be asleep. Yes, yes, of course. In a moment, you'll be all right. Yes, just another second and... You die, boss. Riverton. You die. Ah! Ali! Mr. Riverton. Mr. Riverton. No, no. Stay away from me. What? I heard you. What is it? You're not the doctor. You're him. The devil, Mungana. Doctor, he's out of his mind. Yes, of course. I'll give him the sedative. No, no. You're him. I know it. You're him. You speak with his voice. I heard you. You're him. Alec, the doctor wants to help you. Of course. To help you. No, no, don't touch me, Mungara. Don't touch me, Mungara. Get away from me, Mungara. You're dead. I killed you. I saw the knife drive in you. You're dead, you hear me? You're dead. You're dead. The dead can't live again. No, 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 that knife in your hand. Don't do it to me. I'll give you back your diamond. I'll give you back. I'll give you back your diamond, Mungara. Don't knife me. Don't. Don't knife me. Doctor, he's fainted. Yes, he... No. No, it can't be. Doctor, what is it? What's wrong? Your friend. He's dead. <laughs> Dead. Yes. Oh, why? Why did he die? Why? Well, I don't know. I only touched him with the hypodermic needle. Mm. You mean, Mr. Ober, the man died from the power of suggestion? You heard the story. Whether it was suggestion or the force of the unknown... Judge for yourself. It is later than 